Okay, welcome back. How do we control which blocks show up on various pages and in under what circumstances these different blocks show up? And let me explain to you what I mean. So far, okay, I think we've got a pretty good handle on adding block content to different block regions. Here you'll see that what I did was I decided to move a few things around from the last screencast. I moved this, the search box back over to the um, to the sidebar first and I moved the navigation bar back or the navigation box back over here and I took out there was a test block out there that I, I moved over and then we've add, I added this new thing right up here. Okay, let's take a look at what this is. I'll just click on configure block to take a look at this. I didn't give it a block title because they didn't actually want a title to show up to the front page, um, but I gave it a description of welcome block, and then I just put a block body of RoboBunnyAttack.com as your source for all things that are awesome, and then some gibberish underneath there. Um, and then the region that it's currently in is in the featured region, okay? And as we notice here, if I save this again, that featured region makes things really stand out, and every theme that has a featured region is going to um, alter the look of this in some way to make it really obvious, okay? It might be highlighted in some way, the text will be bigger, there'll be some sort of a um, definitely styling that's appropriate for making it stand out. And this shows up, I'm, log I'm not logged in over here, I'm in Safari and I'm just a regular old user over here. I take a look at this site and I say, okay, so I've I've come here, there's a home of RoboBunny Attack, there's a big feature screaming at me that, hey, this is what this site is all about and it is awesome. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I've just landed on this 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 website and that, that makes sense to me. That's cool. It's giving me some interesting information. Um, but what happens when I start navigating through the site? Let, let's say I've decided to look for that article about Jane and I go ahead and I go to that Jane article and I'm navigating through my site and I still go, you know what? Okay, I get it. RoboBunny attack is awesome. All right, I get it. Do I really need to see this featured block on every single page? Okay, the title I get, yeah, the title, the header up here, if you've got a logo or something, I could see why that would change, or so why that would stay the same on every single page. And certainly that little home tab, yeah, I could see why that would be the same. But do we need this to be the same on every single page? Um, chances are, in this case, what if I didn't? What if I decided, you know, this is this is something that I'd like to show up to first-time visitors, you know, to my the front page of the site. That's the I only want it to show up on the front page of the site, and then once people start navigating around through the rest of the site, I don't want that message to be there anymore. It only stays on the front page, and this is where we can control that. We actually have control over not only which block region this content will be located in, but on which pages it appears. And so I'll show you how this works. If I go to configure block, this is where this configure block pane becomes really, really important. This visibility settings section down here, I sort of glossed over it in the previous screencast. Um, this is where we can control all sorts of things. We can, sh we can control the visibility of a block according to lots of different criteria. We could, first of all, we could decide which pages this block is going to show up on. And even Drupal even gives you the choice of, ev of of choosing whether you're going to have this block show up on every single page except you know a list of pages or you could do it the other way around and just say only show this on the listed pages um, and you could just have it just show up on one page or you could sh have it show up on a bunch of different pages um, and down here it says specify pages by using their paths and if you remember from several screencasts ago we talked about how to get that path and the aliases and everything um, and the path is just the part that comes after you know after the the main website address and um, and so uh, in this case, what I'd like to do is I'd only like this content to show up on the front page. And so what's the path to the front page, right? Because the front page doesn't have anything after that, you know, the site name or the, or sorry, the, the site URL. Um, and in this case, um, they tell you that front is the front page. So I'm going to go ahead and type front like that and we'll go ahead and save this block and what we're doing is we're telling we're telling Drupal okay this this cool section right here we only want that to show up on the front page only and so let's test this out I'm going to go ahead and look for that Jane article and let's see what happens I've searched for that and already I'm on the search results page and that big obnoxious notice has disappeared and if I go to the Jane Smith article it's gone okay but if I go back to the front page 
it's back here because they say hey, this is the intro page and that's great so now you've just controlled content to show up on different pages all right that's cool what other criteria can we use to control the visibility of a block well let's go see what other choices there were let's go click on configure block and if we scroll down here we see we can select by content type so we can have a block show up only beside specific types of content okay only have this block show up next to basic pages or just articles or both or neither or whatever you want okay in this case if you don't have anything if you don't select anything then there's no limitation it doesn't restrict it at all um, well, I'm not going to I'm not going to select any restriction I, I'm fine with that as it is roles you can actually restrict this by role you could have the block show up for specific roles maybe maybe we don't want this block to show up for people who are authenticated users or editors or administrators this is actually redundant uh, because anyone who's an administrator is also an authenticated user um, so so basically if uh, we, we only want this block to show up for people who are anonymous. So let's go ahead and save this and see what happens. Okay, we'll save this and see. Okay, now this is interesting because the block is still showing up for me as the administrator. That kind of makes sense because I need to see what this looks like, right? Actually, you know what? I'm going to go and just double check and see what I did here restricted to oh I did this the opposite of what I wanted I actually only wanted to show it to anonymous users oh no I messed up my screen gas oh that's okay sorry about the confusion um I should have I the way this works is you click on the one that you wanted to show for so in this case I only want this block to 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 this block content to appear for the specific role of anonymous user I apologize for that confusing uh semi error there. Let's do this again. Let's save this block and see what happens. Okay, we're waiting for it to save. And as expected, that block has disappeared. Actually, that makes a little bit more sense, doesn't it? Uh, let's go back to Safari where we're not logged in. And here we see, okay, this is showing up here for people who are not logged in. Anonymous visitors to your site. If I actually were to log in as a user, uh, then it would disappear. And here I am logged in as a user. Now that makes it kind of difficult to see. I'm going to turn that off because I actually want to see that particular. Oops, I didn't want to click on. Ah, let's go back. I'm really wrecking my screencast today. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go back to structure. Fortunately, Drupal's fairly forgiving. Let's click on blocks. Let's go back. And what are we looking for? This is that welcome block that I was working with. We decided that we would like to configure this. I'm going to click on configure. There we go. Back to here. And under roles, I'm going to uncheck that and make sure to see all then so what it says is if you select no roles the block will be visible to all users that's exactly what i want so after much ado let's see if this block content has come back it is loading and there we go it's back okay one last thing what are the what's the other thing we can do we can also control visibility by user and this is i'm going to leave this um I'm going to leave this. I'm not actually going to change this, but you could actually have this be customizable where you could have people choose, individual users choose whether or not they see this particular block. You can actually control it to that level. Um, I think we've, I think this is appropriate. All we've done here is we've just restricted that block to show up simply on the front page. And I think that's quite appropriate. So in other words, if you wanted to configure a block so that it only appears on the front page, what would you do? What would you choose? What would you enter in the blocks visit? settings that's right you would type that front if we wanted it to show up on you know a page called about us or something like that then you would change it to say you would you would add that in in the um, in that section I hope that that has made sense. Okay, you know what criteria you can use to control the visibility of different blocks. Um, and this is really, really handy under different circumstances. Um, yeah, I'm sure you can imagine you can control things on different pages. Maybe you want to have a, a, a contact form show up, but only on a very specific page called contact. Okay, that's actually a very common thing to do with blocks. Um, so don't forget, you can control the visibility of block content, not just by moving it around into different block regions, but also decide which pages that block that block content is going to show up on. Okay? Oh, that was a lot that we covered. So thank you very much for keeping up with me up to this point. Um, I've got lots more to come, so stick around. Uh, but for now, I hope that that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and 
I'll see you next time.